Hi guys, it's Pajama Mama here, and I want to show you my Dollar Tree makeup collection. And I'm actually going to be putting some of these items into my cosmetic bag for my purse so that I can take it uh, on the go and apply my makeup in the car, <laughs> which I do often actually. So um, I want to start with the new things that I have here um, from the Dollar Tree recently that I want to add to my collection. Um, I have the new makeup brushes, the new lipstick, the LA Colors, um, the Almay powder, and then um, uh, clippers that I'm going to put in there too. So let me start by going over some of my favorite items here that I have already tried, already used, and um, some things that I like. And um, actually, this isn't even all of it, but I just grabbed a bunch of stuff. <laughs> because um, I've done a lot of, um, you know, practicing with things and I just definitely have some favorites. So I've been using Dollar Tree makeup for a number of years. Um, and the main reason I do that obviously is to save money. So let me just um, get started with a couple things here that um, I know that I'm gonna put into my makeup bag. And of course, probably one of my all time favorites is this LA Colors, um, lip gloss and this is in the let's see I gotta lift it up here so I can read it dreamy pink uh, but there are lots of good colors that you can use so I'm just gonna start forming my collection that's going in my bag um, I'm gonna put one of these little uh, perfumes in because I like to apply that too um, especially if I'm going to church or I'm gonna be with um, you know some other uh, people where I'll, I might be in close contact or even give a hug. So this is one of those, it's called First Class. Um, back at Christmas time, they had a bunch of those that they um, that they put out and that was just one of the fragrances I liked. Um, and I think I have another one here. Let's see, Vita La Loca. I like both of those, but actually, you know, honestly, I don't like having to unscrew a cap when I'm in a hurry in the car. So I'm instead going to use this, I don't know, my filming's not too good today, um, Revive Perfumed Mist. This was also um, in a display. I think they had four different fragrances, and I like this Revive fragrance, but this has the atomizer. So you just lift the cap, you spray it, and I like that for you know just ease of use in the car. So these two are going back in, and that one's going in the car. Um, Let's see, I have a couple of mascaras here. I've talked about on previous videos, the Color Mates mascara, that one's upside down. <laughs> this is just in the uh, classic uh, mascara in black. And actually, I'm probably going to put that in my purse because it's a dollar. So if it dries out or I lose it, I haven't wasted a lot of money on a high-end mascara. I have a nicer one here. This is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. Um, this is relatively new for me. I like it okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever found the perfect mascara to tell you the truth. But um, this I got on clearance. It was like, I don't know, three bucks. It was a good price for, you know, a, a drugstore mascara. I don't buy high-end ones actually, just because I feel like they dry out so quickly. Um, I don't use a whole lot at one time, so it just seems like a waste to me. I don't know, but I don't criticize anyone who does buy a high-end mascara. I know they're lovely. I've had them in the past, but truthfully, I just, um, it's, it's all about saving money to me and, and my budget. So especially when it comes to car makeup, because it could melt, it could get stolen, I could lose it, I could forget it. So... The point of this is having a little stash that I can take with me so that I can apply my makeup because I, I normally, I don't bother with it in the morning a lot of days. That's, I'm see, today I'm in my pajamas this morning before anybody wakes up I'm trying to do this while the kids are quiet and it's, it's really early. It's, I'm probably being too loud. But anyway, um, Let's move on. I will show you some others. You guys know I like these LA Color Bombs. This is more of like a, a tinted chapstick. This color is in Wham. It's kind of an orangey color. I do sometimes put this in, in my um, cosmetic bag in my purse. 
So I'll, I'll get that one out. I do like it. Not as much, I don't like it as much as these LA Colors lipsticks. And I have tried a lot of the Dollar Tree lipsticks. I've tried the Color Mates, I've tried the Wet n Wild. Um, I've even tried some like the Fergie ones back when they had those. Um, and this just continues to be a favorite of mine. So I have a couple colors here. Oh, and, and my new color over there. This is Luscious Wine, Dusty Rose. Um, the Dusty Rose is a subtle, sh um, I would call it shimmery pink, and that's pretty. I like that. Um, the Luscious Wine, I don't know if you can see, I've used this, but see how pigmented that color is? It's very, like, dark. And so I usually use this when I start to get a tan in the summertime because it's just too strong of a color for me. But if I had a darker skin tone, that I think would be perfect. Um, so I think I'll wait. I'm, I might use that later in the summer. Um, I have another lipstick here. This is the NYC brand um, Expert Last. I got that at the Dollar Tree too. I think these are only a couple bucks um, at the Target or Walmart, wherever. Um, this is Sugar Plum. This is a pretty color too. Um, I might put that in. Uh, I think I got it last fall, so it's probably starting to get old. Maybe I'll put that in my bag. Uh, I like to get good use out of my makeup before I have to toss it. Oh, and then of course I have my new Wet n Wild. This is Mauve Glaze. I love this color. It is not shimmery. It's a matte color, which I prefer. Um, and it is very neutral. So this would go with a lot of different things. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it simple for myself. I'm just going to put one in there and I like to keep my stash, uh, small in my cosmetic bag. So I'm not digging around and wasting time trying to figure out what I'm going to choose. You know, I make my selections ahead of time. These are all, um, so far, this is very neutral. I mean, it looks pink in the tube, but it's actually not. And, uh, it's more clear. Uh, and then this is a very neutral color. So it could go any way, no matter what I'm wearing. And of course, I'm going to add my new things over there too, here in a minute. I like to have a little lotion. Um, this is Stunner. This was back um, when they had the little hand lotions. I think maybe it was for Valentine's Day. I'm not sure. But um, that's already, I've been using that. That was in my in my bag already. So I'll just put that back in. Um, I love these Wet n Wild cosmetic brushes. Um, if you've seen a lot of people hauling these, um, I'll tell you why they are, they're excellent for a dollar. Um, and I've been using them, obviously. We have blush, eyeshadow brushes, but they're kind of big and bulky for my, my cosmetic bag, for my purse. So I'm just going to leave them in here. Um, I love this LA Colors bronzer that I've been using. Um, I use it almost like a contour shade, you know, along my jawline and then also on my forehead and a few other areas. Um, but it, it's definitely excellent for my skin tone, at least. This is the LA Colors um, Baked. But the problem with taking a powdered um, blush or bronzer or something like that is that a lot of times your makeup, cosmetic makeup bag in your purse, it gets knocked around. I mean, it, it, this could break up. That's what I would be worried about. So I, and because it's a darker color, um, honestly, it's hard to manage something like that when you're in the passenger seat or when you're, you know, in the driver's seat applying your makeup before you go into a store or something, you know, like you, you can't always really see what you're doing very well. So something really highly pigmented, uh, with a lot of color, I just, I just don't take that with me. I, I like it, but I'll use it like up in my bedroom when I'm putting my makeup on in front of my dresser. Um, I got this L'Oreal blush a while back. I think I've had it like half a year at least already. It's in Sunset. Um, it looks like a bright color and a lot of people wouldn't use a blush um, that colorful. But actually what I really like about this, oh boy, I'm trying to do this one-handed. I'm filming with one hand and trying to do everything else with the other. I can't get it open. Hang on a second. There we go. What I like about this blush is that it has the mirror. It has the um, the nice brush with it, actually. And I have been using this in my cosmetic bag for a while, and it has not broken up. So I think this is a quality product. And having it at Dollar Tree, I mean, I have no idea how much it originally cost, but I'm sure it was probably at least eight bucks or more, just knowing L'Oreal. 
Okay, so let's move along here. Uh, a couple things I always take. Um, now, I haven't seen these at the Dollar Tree. These are the oil absorbing sheets, but I love these things. They really do work well, and not just only this CVS brand. Um, that just happened to be, I think I paid, I don't know, $3 for that, and um, it's 50 sheets. It'll last me a while. Um, and I take those with me because it just freshens your makeup back up. This is another Dollar Tree product. Um, I do like these little things. This is the um, LA Colors eyeshadow palette, and I know that's that's small and it's kind of hard to work with, but um, I normally would use something like this if I were going on a date with my husband or if I was going to church. So as you can see, there is a little applicator there, and I've been trying to use that applicator. It's it's not easy, but I bought the this little set. Um, they had a display, maybe. Maybe it was at Christmas time, I don't know. And um, I've been using it, and I like it, actually. Um, I use more the, the lighter neutral colors. The dark ones are, are hard to manage in the car. So I take that. It's small. It's compact. I have a lot of choices. Um, I like the purples in that, the mauves and purples. and So that one makes me happy. And I always take one of these for my hair, just in case. I also put in some bobby pins because um, I just sometimes need those. If my bangs start getting too long, I like to just pin them back uh, with, with some things like that. That's just in case to have in my bag. And then, let's see, what else do we have here? I've gone over the lipsticks. Oh, this was a NYC brand lipstick that the Dollar Tree carries sometimes. Dragon Fruit. This is very bright. This is very orangey. Um, you know, it, it's a unique color, and I would save it for whenever I wanted to match an outfit. Okay, so did I pick a mascara? Oh, I put the Color Mates mascara in. Um, yeah, I don't want to put... Now, this is not, like, high quality or anything, but, you know, it's $8. I, I want this set to be... I'm not going to cry if I lose it, or it melts in the sun, or you know, I drop it and everything breaks. Um, this is my... Okay, I can replace this for about 10 bucks. And that's the way I think. So, and that's happened to me before. And it's all it's always kind of sad, but it's no big deal if it was Dollar Tree makeup, if you know what I mean. For some reason there's like a piece of tape on that. Yuck. Anyway, um this is a little tiny pencil um pencil sharpener, and I'm not sure if I'm going to need it. I think I have Okay, this is an automatic sharpener or er, automatic uh, pencil. If you hear my cat in the background, she's here. Oh, there she is. Oh my goodness, Flower! There's my cat. Her, she came with the name of Flower. Come here, baby. You can't see her there. Hi. She's like walking around it. This is ridiculous. She's not allowed to be on the table. Hey, you get down. You get down. There she goes. Flower, you guys can't see her. There she is. Flower! Oh. Now she's going to be goofy. Anyway, she's a sweetie. I love my cat. Anyway, she came with that name, and I never really liked it, but it stuck. So if you see, hear her, that's her crying in the background. She just had to come check out what I'm doing. So this is a neutral um, mauve colored. Let's see. I don't like the word mauve but I don't know how else to describe it. it. It's a pretty purple color. You cannot see it. It's not showing up on the camera. Anyway, I do like that. What I like to do for my car makeup is I don't use any dark colors. Like I wouldn't take a black because I just find that I need a good mirror and good lighting to apply that nicely. Okay, the, um, I would swatch it, but I'm doing this one-handed. So anyway, that's going to go in. I like these grays and... Um, neutral purples and things to put on in the car um, because I feel like you're not going to make a mistake and like ruin your makeup with a jet black if you know what I mean. I mean a lot of us like to wear a black but um, I just don't do that in the car that's all. And this is another LA Colors that I like. Um, this is the Duo Eyeshadow Pencil and I use it like an eyeliner. I guess you could use it like an eyeshadow if you wanted to, but I sharpen it up. It has the sharpener with it, so I don't think I'm going to need to take a sharpener. This is like, 
it's all it's supposed to be navy is one side of it the other side of it's supposed to be black but this is more like a light gray and this is more like a dark gray or charcoal color so i will actually take that with me um it's nice to have the variety of colors there and um, i'm i'm actually getting close here to being finished i think i've gone over oh this is something it's not a dollar tree product i'd love it if they had it at the dollar tree i do like this this is the maybelline soft brown brow drama sculpting brow mascara and i will take that because i don't want to use an, an eyebrow pencil in the car um i don't want my eyebrows coming out looking like a clown so anyway i like this product um I might even repurchase from, I don't know where, I think I got it from the Walmart, I, I'm, I'm not sure, but anyway, it's it's literally like a mascara for your eyebrows, and it just gives a little color, it holds them in place, and that's something I can do easily in the car. Um, all right, oh, these are some of the other color bombs. Um, this is the Boom color. It's a very bright pink. I don't really care for the color on me, um, and this is the Kapow, and it's the purple, and it's a, also a very pretty color, but again, this one definitely makes my teeth look yellow, and I don't care for that, so I'm actually going to give these to my girls, because I don't like that whole te yellow teeth look. <laughs> So anyway, um, one more thing. This is a product I bought from Dollar Tree. I've seen this there forever. And it's a quick root touch-up stick. And this one is in medium brown. And this is like a sticky, well, not sticky. Um, goodness, I can't think of the word. It's definitely um, like a lipstick. It really actually is. And you run it over your gray hair. So I have a few grays, I don't have very many, and they hide underneath my bangs. So I have actually used that when I put my hair, let's say up in a headband or um, in bobby pins or something where my bangs are not hanging on my forehead. I will use that and it, it works okay. It's easier than, you know, coloring my whole head of hair when I don't actually have that many grays, not yet at least, thankfully. And now, all right, I'm gonna switch over to my right hand. <laughs> Um, I'm going to add, I'm done with this box, so I'm going to move it out of the way. And that was a Dollar Tree storage container, actually. Um, and I like it. It's sturdy. Um, it holds a lot of things, not just makeup, but today it is holding makeup. And let's uh, insert these new things into the pile there. We have the Almay Smart Shade, which I, like I said, I have been using it. This is the medium. I like this shade for my skin tone, but it will, will still be too light for me when I'm starting to tan in the summer. Um, I don't tan on purpose. It's just kind of a natural thing that happens when I go out with the kids. And even if I'm wearing sunscreen, I, my skin just does that. So um, I have to be careful not to get too much sun, actually. Um, so anyway, I love, love, love these new little cosmetic brushes. They're so pretty. They're in the store right now. Um, oh, I wonder if I can get it open. Oh, good. I, I already did open it. I'm doing that one-handed, too. <laughs> if you guys are still watching this, you're really patient with me today. But anyway, um, so it looks like maybe a little shadow liner brush, a crease brush, and... I'll probably use this for this Alme. Um, actually, I think that might do a good job with that, especially um, I wanted these because they're short and they will fit nicely in my bag. So we have the, this is just powder. That's all it is. It's not a foundation, but uh, a lot of times my foundation has my sunscreen in it, so I put it on in the morning. And then if I'm in the car, I use this to touch up um, and I, I, this is actually a toenail clipper. It's kind of big and bulky. I don't know. We'll see if it lasts, but I do like to clip my nails, um, in the car. This is the sassy and chic one. I've had their, uh, toenail or nail clippers before, and I like them. They work just fine for a dollar. So there is my collection, you guys. Um, I'm happy with all these things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, let's see, 14, 16, 17. So this is a $17 makeup collection. It, it does pretty much everything that I need it to do. And um, nobody knows, it's most of it is from Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, I do like high-end makeup. In fact, I used to sell Mary Kay, um, which it's not, Mary Kay is not that high-end actually, but not like department store makeup. But um, anyway, this is a Mary Kay bag. I have no idea where I got it because I'm, when I sold Mary Kay, it was like a decade ago or more. Uh, and that did not work out for me. But I do have three children, so I'm blessed in other ways. Um, I like this bag. It's sturdy. It's clear. I like having a clear cosmetic bag because then I can see what I'm doing better and it just makes the application go a lot quicker. I have Dollar Tree cosmetic bags that I like. But truthfully, um, I needed something bigger because I really wanted a whole collection. And actually, I don't know if I'm going to need all of these brushes. Um, I probably won't need the liner brush, but I will use this for my powder. There is a little brush that comes with the powder, and it works okay, but I think, I think I'm going to like this brush better. I wonder how I can film this. Let's see, I'm going to back up. There we go. And knock that stuff out of the viewfinder. All right, you guys, almost done. Here we go. Just gonna drop it in there. And this will be um, something that I might change up occasionally. I might um, add different colors and um, like whenever my skin tone starts to change, I'll probably carve this white out of it and that will help um, darken the color for me. Um, and as things uh, get really hot in the car, I am not gonna be leaving it in there for sure. I mean, some areas of, of the world, it would be too hot to ever leave it in the car, but right now it's in the 50s, it's in the 60s, nothing will melt. So I'm gonna zip this up. And there we go, there we have it. I can see everything that I need. Now, if I'm in a real rush, let's say I have, I don't know, a, one or two minutes. What I would do would be, I would swipe on mascara, either that or put on the eyeliner, one or the other. I would swipe on the the lipstick and I would let's see you know depending on what I'm doing if I'm going to church I would put on the lotion because everybody shakes hands and my hands get dry because of all the hand, the the wa hand washing I do and dishes and all that so I might do that and it's fragranced this is a fragranced lotion so um, anyway there you have it I'm happy with the stash. I hope it helps you guys.